believe that you would accuse me of, of, of such a horrible thing. I haven't heard you deny it. You hate me. Now I can live with that, but what I can't understand is why you would want to turn the rest of the family against me with such a vicious lie. It's, it's, it's cruel and, and vindictive. If you have nothing to hide, then what's the problem with me calling Emily? No one's calling Emily. She doesn't have to be concerned with your paranoia. She's got enough to deal with. She can handle it. I'm only going to ask her one question, and then we can clear this whole thing up once and for all. You know what, Ned? You have had it in for Skye ever since you got here. We all know that, but this is low, even for you. All right, well, what about you, Junior? Y you've done like a complete 180 with your long-lost sister. Do you want to explain that? Ned, please, that's enough. Well, what's the matter? Hitting a little too close to home? All right, I want you to leave Skye alone. You don't have any right to accuse her of something like this. She'd never do that. But you refuse to find out. Don't you want to know the truth, Alan? It's going to come out, Sky, sooner or later. So why not just admit it? You wanted Emily gone. Be honest for a change. Or isn't honesty in your arsenal? All right. Yes. I wanted Emily gone. 